and drop. Uh, you know from history, uh, and uh, maybe a song you heard at one time or a poem, uh, you read it in a book. Uh, there, uh, there were at one point it was somewhat common to enchant some bits and pieces of tombs or important areas with uh, charms that would uh, get more severe as distance increased between its original place to deter grave robbing or or looting or sacking. Well, that failed miserably. Yeah, boy, we really rob anything. We, we the, have the dug two, up some the, graves, I mean. The, the two chests on my back kind of say the opposite, but all right. And, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, we haven't just that laying chest down yet. with yep. shit we stole. Can we, can we also bury the, can we bury the rock in with those graves? <laughs> oh, I said I'm keeping the rock. <laughs> no, we are dropping. Uh, <laughs> leave the rock in a grave and somebody just comes by. Oh my god, one person stole mine. There's <laughs> <laughs> gotta be some karma in there somewhere. <laughs> I just really, that, that, that idea makes me chuckle. Alright, well we're gonna go to the long house and Press leave it. Snow there and then go forage. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Snow slowly dies. I'm just going, hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of splayed over top of the horse. Okay, well around. who's got who's got a high survival skill? I've got three. I've got two. I get plus okay, well, one to anything that I'm not apt in. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go look for the weed then. Well, can't we all look if we know what kind of weed it is? Can we try to suss what? out what weed and then we all have a look? Give, give me that good well, flavorful ma marijuana. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, you, um, so you're continuing back to the longhouse then yeah. together and then you're going to split up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. On your way back, you, uh, you finally reach the village again. It seems to not be on fire. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's still a possibility. You're, yeah, so you don't know, maybe. Uh, but when you reach the longhouse, it seems to be empty. Uh, there is no more, uh, none of the objects that were previously arrayed on the floor or anything like that seem to still be there. It seems to just be uh, the like the remnants of a fire that's gone out maybe 12, 10, 12 to 14 hours ago. And uh, right, let's... the longhouse is proper. Okay, let's light a fire and uh, put snow in her bedroll next to it while we look for this, these specific herbs we need to make a potion. Ben, no, what's your survival? Cure. You don't leave me alone, guys. Negative one. Uh, okay. you, stay, you, you stay with snow then. Oh, okay. Two hated yeah, people. Tell her the sweet tales of Borgbard. <laughs> And, uh, oh god, suddenly I can't right, hear it so anymore. Uh, Tyburn, do you have any idea of what we're looking for? Uh, let's see. Borg uh, pulls up a stool next to Snow and lays his uh, bone uh, crusher uh, across his laps while he uh, drums his fingers on it. It looks Tyburn. like a th it looks like a thing. It looks like a plant with this kind of like the thing. Tyburn, make a survival check. Uh, well, did. I did I did roll one. If you want me to roll it again, I can. I got a 15 on this roll. Oh, oh you got a 15? Okay, then you know. Uh, it looks Borg like the thing. Borg. You need to find, uh, you need to find three items. You need to find a fucking uh, fetch quest. Well, yeah, you need to find a uh, flower called a twin Betty. I am a, lame. A lethal uh, buxus and a dwarf bread loaf flower. Okay, just for uh, so a leaf, a leaf buddy or. What you said? A twin buddy. Okay, twin buddy. And then a lethal... Buxus. Buxus. And then uh, the third one? And a dwarf bread loaf flower. Bread loaf or, broad, or bread loaf? Broad, broad leaf flower. Oh. I wrote that down. I should know that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah. Just wrote that down for, for later reference. Well, I guess man. anyone else wants to get the, the rod again. Okay. Um, you may want to get in contact with any sexual partners you've had. <laughs> <laughs> right, so do we want to split this up? So Tyburn, you look for one. Kavara, you look for one. I look for one. Sure. Alright, Lux. Go into the immediate surroundings. Um, 
Okay. Well, again, if, if one of us fucks up the survival roll, we don't find it. It is all assuming that these things are native to here and that they exist, so... That's true. But then again, uh, it's a it's, this is a fantasy game. Everything grows everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna need you all to make a survival. I go full Oh, I my Bob didn't find it? shit. <laughs> Did any of you roll? Fifteen. Under... What's that, Roach? Did any of you roll under a ten? I might have. <laughs> Okay. Got a five. So, uh, the other two, you find your ingredients. Uh, and after a few, after maybe an hour's worth of searching, you find uh, Tyburn. What did you roll again, Tyburn? A five? Five. Five. You find Tyburn, uh, like, uh, hands and knees going through a patch of, uh, of, of thick grass looking for his, his thing, not having good luck uh, finding it. If you would like to provide aid to him, you may do so. Yes, obviously. Yeah. I got a 13 again. I got a 12. Okay, both of you, you find a... You find part... Through their aid, you find... You think enough of your ingredient to make one dose of this anti... This, Antitoxin or this anti rot. <laughs> anti rot. Don't tell me it's fin rot. <laughs> well, therefore, Tyburn, we give Tyburn the ingredients Ooh. as the person with the, mo the highest medicine skill. You should call it unrot. Unrot. <laughs> and Tyburn, I guess we leave you to make the potion. While they are doing Meanwhile... this, Borkvard, uh, while they are out doing this, Borkvard, do you at any point open the chest that you found in the uh, the unopened chest? Do you, do you try and open it or mess with it at all? Bara has got it. Bara. Yeah, yeah. it's still on my oh, back. Oh, you just still have it on your back? Okay, never mind yeah. then. <laughs> I'm about to say, do I have the chest? Because otherwise, I would have been looting the fuck out of it. I was assuming I'm you would have. dwarf. I mean, you had two chests on your back. Whatever. Uh, Kavara's just uh, just she's really working on her strengths, you know. She's she's got to do uh, that workout. Tyburn, you uh you get back to the longhouse and begin mixing up your uh, concoction. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make uh make a medicine check. I rolled a nineteen. Whew. Okay, you were able to get the first part of the mixture correct. You have oh, to okay. stew for hours, and <laughs> then you will make another one. If, and we'll and we'll figure out if it works at that point. How uh, many hours? A few hours. It'll be in the morning when uh, when it'll. Oh, play. what's I'm the gonna... XP that we got from that encounter, Roach? What's oh the... yeah, right. Yeah, you got a. You had a. Um, it was a white, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. A white and two zombies. White and two zombies. Give me a second. White and two zombies. White I'll two get zombies. the calculator up. Divide it by five. Split between all of you. Eight hundred and twelve. 800 total. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell what you said. 160 each, guys. You're all, at this point, I think, level 3. Yeah. Sorry, how yeah. much was that, Snow? You'd be 1,054. Alright, I'll wait to roll my, my, my up a level until I'm actually you know, not not on yeah, death's door. We'll do after. That's what we do. Yeah, we need to we need to settle down for a long rest before we can do that. Yeah, because I mean Borkbard's been level three for an hour. But yeah, so, just... since the ha most of the way through this this last session here. Yeah. I said I'll okay. wait to try to So you have a few hours while this is doing. Do you guys take the time to open the unopened chest? That you oh have? hell yeah. Yeah. Okay, it is currently locked. Do you try and unlock it through finesse, or are you just gonna try and break it open? Oh uh, well, does anybody have any good? I have a skills? high sleight of hand skill. I can try and uh, try sort that. of pick the lock. Blech, sleight of hand to three over here. Can I try to intimidate it. <laughs> intimidate the lock. You open lock. He I fucks it open. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna like. Um, 
Can Grabs. I investigate the lock first to see yeah. see what we can find out about it? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> what I rolled roll? a two. I rolled two. a two. Okay, uh, you roll a two. Looks like a pretty normal iron lock. Well, um, I mean, we could do what we did before. Tip it on its side so it's in a fragile state, and then just bash it until it splits open. <laughs> you know, there uh, there's a third option. You could probably heat the lock up so that's more more brittle, and then just give it a good solid knock. You want to put the chest in the fire? <laughs> no. You can put the lock next to the fire without like getting the whole chest on fire, right? It's a, it's it's, it's out, wood. It's, an it's a it's an outside yeah. lock, isn't it? No, no. The chest is not made of wood. It is an iron chest. That's why I'm saying I think it's a bad idea to put the chest of the fire because it's just going to heat the whole thing up. We don't know what's inside it. Coins, I think. <laughs> we we can assume it's coins. I mean, we haven't tried we don't... to pick lock it. I'm going to try and pick the lock. I'll pick it. Go ahead pick and try and pick the lock. I got a 22. The lock opens. <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking easy. So, so as you are arguing about how to open the chest up, uh, Art Luck just kind of crouches down, and you hear click, click, and then the, 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 the Luck just drops off of it. <laughs> hey! Mitch just fawns it. Yeah, it just fawns it. Okay, you open uh, so the chest. It, it's like this. Yeah. Hey! Yeah, wait, I'll go, grab a leather jacket and put that on. Or no. Is it that? Do you, uh, do you open the chest? Look? Can we look what's in the damn chest? Yeah. Okay, somebody have something to write this down because you have to split this amongst yourselves. Yeah, I okay, got it. I got it. I would, I would be more better. I would feel better if more than one of you wrote it down, just so nobody could mess it up. I, I, I'm gonna do it. I also got my okay. notepad open as always. Okay, inside the chest you find one five zero zero copper pieces. One thousand five hundred copper pieces. Uh huh. You find 900 silver pieces. You find mm -hmm. 60 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. You find a small leather pouch. When you open it, it smells of very strong and what seem to be high quality spices. You approximate Ooh. it to somewhere near 20 to 30 gold pieces. Spicy. You find two small vials of High quality perfume. Again, twenty to thirty gold piece value. You estimate each or between them. Uh, each. You find one iron pendant that has the uh, image of a hammer with lightning bolts coming out of it. You do not know its worth. You find Work hard one, likes hammers. You find one painted glass orb. It seems to be a small ticket. It might be worth something. One small kind of polished stone orb. Again, you think it might be some sort of trinket. It might be worth something. You find magical item. Eyes of Charming. Do we know it's uh, what it does, or? You find an instrument. Seems to be for a bard. I know one of those. Some sort of horn. Some sort of horn. Bard yes. horn. And you uh -huh. find one, uh, one uh, wooden kind of stick. You th it has intricate carvings on it. You think it could be a wand. You're not totally sure. Maybe you're a wizard, Harry. Is it all? Yes. Does anyone want to do an arcana check on the wand? Or are you just yeah, I'll go for it. Uh, I got three, so no. <laughs> all right. Like, it's a stick! Throws it over shoulder. <laughs> All right, guys, I divvied out the coins, if you want to know the, the, the amount. We've also got to div divvy up the last amount as well. Son of a bitch! Yeah. 
Okay. Well, the uh, eyes of charming's worth fifty six thousand gold. Anyways, the uh, the <laughs> cop it'd be three hundred copper each, one hundred and eighty silver each, and twelve gold each from that. Hold on. There, there again. Three hundred uh, copper. copper and uh, one hundred eighty silver and uh, twelve gold pieces each. Did you already divvy up the other? Uh, no, the other one. No, we just we just closed it up and decided to do it later. Do you want to divvy yeah. it up now? Uh, yeah. Give me the values I, I, here. I posted everything from the iron chest and the chest box and tabletop. Oh, the there it is. Of, eyes of Charming is fucking cool. Those are some nice spectacles. Divided by five. Use those. So that's going to be another 380 copper. <laughs> Didn't uh, you say this was from the iron chest? No, no, no. We're, I'm looking at the old chest box. Uh, Kivara had written it down, apparently. Yeah. Well, he did because he just said he posted the iron chest in chat. No, he, he, he also said the, che the chest box and the iron chest. Uh, 220 Dude. silver each. Remember, Borkvard, you had two chests you got out of the dungeon. One of them you didn't you didn't divvy up yet. You well, I was just them. confused why he was saying chest box. I didn't know if that if he meant something else other than wooden chest by that. What was it in the coin purse? Uh, nothing. It was just a coin purse. Oh, okay. Just, so just a nice like a high purse. quality coin purse. A stupid fucking wand. It was made out of, like, the coin purse was made out of rabbit fur. You might want to write that down, and it, you thought it might be worth a couple of gold pieces. All right. But uh, divvy out your uh, your specific coins and whatever things you want to uh, to take from, from that uh, that box. Dib size it. of charming. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look. Without metagaming knowing what they are, would Borkvard take the Eyes of Charming? Uh, spectacles? Yeah. Uh huh. I feel a dwarf I would look you. a dwarf well, would look spectacles. amazing in glasses. They're just glass orbs that go in front of your eyes, uh, supported by a wire frame. Yeah, essentially, yes. Uh, they just look like <laughs> that. Uh, actually, uh, uh, Artlock, I think you need to make an Arcana check. Uh, on on those, I, just, I I said the name because I was reading it off, but I probably should have just said glass spectacles. Uh, I, I I really really like okay, some know, perfume. You know that they are eyes of charming, Harlock. Uh, okay, so there's sixteen. So, um, uh, Tyburn, can you use wands? I don't think so. Let me well, check. well, we need to get the wands identified. Before we can we can do anything with them, unless we're just gonna wing it and see what the fuck happens. Guys, I would really wander around. Love some perfume to cover up this rot smell. Well, as uh, as I pick the lock, I'm gonna say that uh, I go, "Oh, nice pair of glasses." Not hiding the information that the the, the thingy is of thingy, and uh, slip him into my pocket. <laughs> So you're gonna uh, you're gonna steal them right in front of us and after saying out loud they looked nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, oh. To be oh, fair, Borkbark did just get a shitload of coins that are quite shiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all got a lot of coins. Yeah, we still got another lot to add, and like the coins are kind of encumbering me right now. <laughs> <laughs> in one of the boxes, a medallion in one of the boxes. Uh, yeah, I, I want the. I kind of want that medallion because I feel like the the hammer speaks to Borkvard. Oh, you mean what the about pendants? the ceramic medallion? No, the the iron one with the the hammer and the lightning. Yeah. Borkvard okay. Wants yeah. That. Can, okay. Yeah. That's just an iron pendant. Yeah. You can have that. All right. I guess. Look, nobody else wants it. Uh, the ceramic medallion. Um, I believe I said last time. If I can find my notes on it. The ceramic one from the wooden chest. Uh, where the hell do I have this one down? Where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I failed my arcana check on the wand, but not on the glasses. Uh, the ceramic medallion doesn't seem to have any like noticeable, but it doesn't seem to be like of any specific mm -hmm. object. Kind of like just a pleasing, like pattern. Yeah. 
Well, uh, Snow, she's kind of like been looking over, and she goes, you know, hey, I do like doing a lot of cooking. I could probably use those that those nice spices there, and you know, you know, I like perfume, so I'd like one of those vials of perfume. And then that's all she really cares about out of the boxes at, after the money. Other than her money. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the gold and silver. Yeah. And copper pieces. You get a shitload of copper pieces in that. Uh, in those two yeah. boxes together. Tell him, just put them all in some socks. We're like fucking set. <laughs> Bam! God, that would hurt like a bitch. It would. I've been hit by them. These are like pennies, right? It's like a, it's like a fucking sock full of pennies. It it hurts. I I promise you, it hurts. I'm just gonna quickly heavier. double check Copper if I can be heavier walls. than the zinc pennies we have today. So it'd be it would it would be actually quite a few pounds heavier, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's no it's not fun. All right. Well, tell me once you guys get everything written down and split amongst yourselves. You know, talk so you guys okay with that? You need to. With me having the spices and one vial of perfume out of that? Yeah. I mean, no. Okay. That'll give me two vials of perfume. Cool. Yeah, I've already got one of those as well. Why do we both have perfume? <laughs> We're entertainers, you're, obviously. You're dandies. <laughs> Checks out. Uh... <laughs> Um, I don't think either me or Typhoon can use ones. At least not yet, anyway. Can I take a look at this pewter rod more closely? Okay. Maybe. What, what, what would I... What, I mean, it, it's pewter, so it's been... It's been, uh, it's been crafted. Make a history what? check. History check on it? Oh, God, I wrote down putter. <laughs> I know I know what you meant. Some nice putter, putter rod. <laughs> 18. Okay, you know that back in the old days... Uh, before uh, uh, widespread coin minting, uh, certain valuable items and, or certain valuable metals and ingots and other things were made into portable uh, kind of uh, shapes so they could be used for barter. So you think this pewter rod might have been like kind of a lower class barter bar? It's, it's worth eight cents. It's pewter. <laughs> well, pewter, I mean, today pewter's not worth a lot, but pewter back then, I mean, that's, you know, that's a but iron. A, it's a little. It's iron and a little bit of tin. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's malleable metal that can be jewelry and you know make a cup out of that. Yeah, I mean it's it, it, it can be used. You think uh, you like kind of heft it in your hand. You think something maybe this weight. It's obviously been cut down a couple of times. You think uh, think something of this weight could be used for maybe thirty gold pieces on a good market. Usually, right. what would happen is like they would cut because it, it's a soft metal. They would like you get a really sharp knife and you kind of like shave off bits of it uh, to to pay for things. But like if you just sell it wholesale, you might be able to get a blacksmith to pay for it. Yeah, I guess I'll so, keep the, I, I guess I'll take the rod then. Yeah, okay. computer's so I'm getting guess, copper. I'm guess I'm guessing I get the instrument. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I thought it was hold bronze. Called it a horn, but it actually has a name, but I just can't pronounce it. So okay, do you wanna like? Can you like message that to be over like Discord? I'll give it a go. I don't know. Google says it's tin with copper. If you look it up, pewter. It's like the first thing it says. Well, well, you make pewter and, and bronze the exact same way. It's just different ratios. Right. You basically flop the ratios, and one it turns from one to the other. Right. Did we did we um divvy out the money from the first chest? Yeah. Yeah. All the money. That extra use. amount of money I I was talking about was from the first chest. So that uh, when we just redo it again, 1900. So it's like the 380 copper, the 1100. Added, added, or not? Yeah, 220 silver. Whoa, hold on. Why don't you just why don't you just do this? And 14 just, gold. Just add both of them together into one whole pot, like in terms of for everybody. That way, they know how much they've got total. Because I don't think Midge. <laughs> okay, let me do that. Okay, so 1,800 plus 1,800. So I wrote down the first set, and then I didn't catch the second set. Okay. Divide that by five. So it'd be 680 copper. Extra. That doesn't yeah. sound right. Oh, no, in total. In total. 680, yeah. Right, hold on. 900 plus uh, 1100. Saving 426. Yep, 400. 
I'm just double checking math 126. here. Checking math here. From that. Four hundred. I mean, the last one is one is safe. Is our pot didn't boil over while we're counting coins, did it? <laughs> I'm dying, and you're going right here worrying about your material wealth. Hey, Midge, why don't you why don't you take a crank on that horn? See if anything fancy happens. Oh God. I Are you going to be able to hear it over the rock? No, well, I'm actually that. not proficient in playing horns. No, you don't need to be proficient to try it out. Just blow on it, see if anything happens. Wait, shouldn't you be proficient in all bardic items? Like, in all of these instruments? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if it's a horn or not. Oh. <laughs> what is you it? you blow into it, or do you strum it? <laughs> or hit it? It sounds like it'll be a French type of horn. I mean, I sent the war I sent it to Midge, like what it's actually Hold on, called. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google. Yeah, but it could be something, maybe a string instrument or something like that. Who knows? Well, I think you should try it out because a lot of instruments have magical properties. And yeah, when no, you play no. them. Hold on. It's so it's, sorry. Is the the oh so no? It's a it's a it's a bandor. Yeah. Sorry. Um, it's a string instrument. I can do it. <laughs> It's, what is it? Is like give it a, a twang. Of, is it a type of harp or something? It's like a lute. It's literally like a lute. Play it and see what happens. It's, Do uh, you have one on hand? <laughs> levels this levels the encampment. <laughs> Boom! You when you when you examine it, Midge, you believe that this this seems to be a very high quality uh, item. Uh, this would give you, if you used it, maybe a plus two circumstance bonus on performance if you were to play this for a crowd. Oh. A kick ass loot. It's, it's impeccable shape. It's also it's a loot of loot somehow. The the horn <laughs> is it acts like a pickup so it like amplifies the fucking the sound he's playing. <laughs> it's Nero's own brand. <laughs> so everybody's got the gold and, and silver and copper written down. They all have yep. it. I got it written down, I'll put it on the character sheet later. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think I think the rest of the stuff we just take to like a local shop and hawk it, and then split up the. Uh... Oh, some of it. I, I, I want to keep the spices and keep the the nice. No, the rest. The what? what we Ah, uh, okay. But is anybody going to take the? Uh, nobody's going to take the painted glass orb or the stone orb. Oh. I think we should just. I don't. I don't. I don't. Maybe we should take. When we will we'll take it next time we're in a town, we can um, take him to a jeweler or something. See if they can identify. Can I do a perception on the stone orb to see like if there's? I'm fucking laying down. You're <sighs> in the bed, not feeling I good. Know. You got fin rod. I you know. are. You have your hands manacled behind your back, laying in a bedroll next to a fire. <laughs> did we actually manacle me? I did. I said. I, I said. I manacle snow. We were all. We were all okay with it. So I mean. All right. <laughs> Since we're getting close to the end, uh, I'll just go with this. Um, and actually, I think we might over time, but let's finish this off. Um, after uh, a night uneventfully, uh, slowly, like uh, like stirring the pot of ingredients, um, uh, Tyburn, I need you to make a medicine check. Bardic inspiration on that? Oh, no, I probably don't need it. Yeah, 16. You did good. Okay. Uh, you think you got it. Uh, Snow, you are given a uh, you're given a you're given a, a cupful of this uh, this concoction. It does not. What does it taste well. like? Uh, it, um, I don't know. Leaves, leaves and dirt. Um, <laughs> All right, tastes uh, like shit. Got it. Just had it a little like bit of mercury. Kind <laughs> 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 go crazy. <laughs> tastes like a blooming onion. Back steakhouse. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you drink it. And you feel your strength somewhat return uh, mm. to you. Um, you feel that uh, the like the uh, the coldness that was inside of your chest for the last mm. couple of hours has is slowly ebbing away from the warmth of this. Uh, All right. At that uh, point, uh, yeah, and you think you you believe you've been cured, which means you will be able to rest and regain HP yeah. and be did by healing spells slash uh, healing potions. I'd like to take a nice long sleep now. So, that's to recover right. my, my strength that's here. That's where we end it. All of you guys go on to a long rest. Allowing Ooh. yourselves uh, for next session. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.
Ooh. We'll level up next Eight. time. Woohoo! Oh, we already well, leveling up right now. Well, you get you regain all of your hit points on a long rest. Yeah. No, you you regain you, uh, you, you what you regain your hit dice of you roll it, so it'd be a one d eight. So I'm gonna quickly do that on a now. long for rest. Regain, yeah, for a long rest. Then. Oh, you don't get all your health back. I got an eight. Haha. <laughs> um. So yeah, those who you are watching back ho uh, at home, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we will see you same time next week. Uh, and now, and yeah, well, now, we're doing Star Trek bye -bye. next week, are we? Oh, are we? Are we doing more D and D? No, I, th I thought we were going to complete this and this module it's and like, then go on to Star Trek. It's, it's, it's going to be. A... We will be doing Star Trek next week, and after oh. we finish Star, Trek, uh, we will have a joint session where uh, we'll start with me, and it'll move over towards Ben uh, as the oh. work. Yep. So that'll, that's how that'll work. You join, we, join us next week for get, Star Trek. Might need to get together for just a hot second, uh, 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 a roach, just so I, I, I can kind of quickly figure out what's going to go on for the switch, so I'm not thrown in. Well, I guess I could just come up with a couple ideas and then we'll, we'll talk. Don't worry, we'll talk. But uh, anyway, but we'll end... see you next time. <laughs> yep. Yeah.